Hi Aries, welcome to Carol's Universe Tower Readings, Tower Readings from the Heart. This is your March month ahead 2016 Tarot reading. Uh, just let you know if you'd like a private reading with me Aries, hit me up below. My website address is down there, it's www.carolsuniverse.co.uk. This is just a quick glimpse into looking at what March could be, what could be coming up for Aries sun sign and uh sorry sun moon and rising sign sorry guys i've been doing this all day and it's I'm a little bit tired <laughs> can't lie okay so universe spirit show me what's coming in for aries for the month of march 2016 sun moon and rising signs show me aries sun moon and rising signs for march 2016 show me aries sun moon and rising signs aries sun moon and rising signs what's coming in for march for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Show me Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Show me Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for March 2016. Show me. Show me the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for March 2016. Show me. What's coming up for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs? Show me. Show me. Okay. I'm going to separate the deck, collect it back up, and we're going to put down your advice card from the bottom of the deck. The two cards at the top to serve as your general energy for the month of March, and four cards in the middle to serve as the events, situations, and people that are going to be coming in potentially. nice so far you know it's so strange sometimes with readings Aries how uh, the cards can just speak so many uh, different words, different languages, Aries, and so many, um, so many different things going on in your reading this month for March. And you know, usually I'd kind of do the stories as a narrative, you know, a narrative like a linear thing, like a, you know, it's like one story, like one one thread. But I can't, I don't think I can do that with this reading uh, this month. Um, I'm I'm sensing that for some of you, Aries people there might be um some sadness coming in i've got to admit i feel that uh, your advice is to uh, we've got the six of cups showing up as your advice card and i feel that it's it's almost asking you that you you need to be a little bit light-hearted about stuff or uh you need to kind of go back to the past maybe to sort out some form of problem in the present the Six of Cups is often a card about the past. It's a card about uh, looking at the past with rose-tinted glasses. Um, it can be a card of the family home, the childhood home. It can also be a card about children. Um, it can be a card about past life connections as well. It's a rooted, it's a card rooted in the past because it's about children. It's about looking back to childhood and with all of those, that happiness and that um the bewilderment and the anticipation of of what life can potentially bring but i feel that this card is saying that um a few things really that help is at hand if you need it because the six of cups is also a card about receiving help and receiving support okay uh when one is vulnerable and when one is kind of uh not feeling particularly comfortable it reminds us that we have friends that are there to help us and it reminds us that there are people who are quite supportive this card can also be a card about seduction 
It can be a card about somebody who wears a false face, who wears a false mask in order to entice another person or in order to manipulate another person. So it's also a card about manipulation as well, funnily enough, the Six of Cups. I've seen this card turn up when uh, there's been somebody who's been highly manipulative in a relationship or they've been trying to kind of... Um, create an illusion uh, in order to get someone to do something or sign up for something or something like that. I've seen this card sort of in many guises, uh, but it is really a card rooted in the past. And uh, I feel that this is a, a card about, it's really weird as an advice card, but I feel as I go through the reading, I'll be able to come up with much more ideas, far more, uh, a lot more ideas as to what this card means in terms of advice for you guys uh, going forward in the month of March. But I feel primarily uh this card is kind of saying that um some of you guys might be going back to the family home might be going home to your parents that type of thing but also that you might be receiving support and also maybe you need to kind of lighten up and just enjoy the childlike wonder of life and, and try not to get too bogged down with the reality of adulthood as it were your general energy is showing up as the star which is quite a positive general energy to have, and also the Three of Pentacles. So literally, this could be where, for some of you guys, um, and also, I mean, it's really funny, but as an advice card, this could be for some reason, some of you guys are winning an award this month, potentially, or you're getting some kind of reward, because uh, this child has been handed a massive bucket of flowers, okay, from an older child, so it's almost like they're presenting them with a gift. OK, so I, I do get the sense of support there happening here. Um, the star card is a card of uh, prosperity, happiness, uh, faith, uh, positivity, optimism. And the three of pentacles is a card about plans, progress, uh, building, um, creating, growth, expansion. All of those good words. Um, I feel that with those cards, there is something to do maybe with uh, progress in something. But it's it's good. It seems that things are heading in the right direction during the month of March for you guys, potentially. OK. Um, the Three of Pentacles is often the card of communication as well. So I feel that there's going to be it's like when I look at these three cards, the Six of cups and then i look at the star and the uh three of pentacles it's almost like there needs to be some positive communication happening for you guys uh within the month of march all right because i, I feel that for some of you guys you might be going through a month where you know looking at the cards there is some anticipation happening here and i can see it uh it's just really interesting what i'm looking at here it really is it's almost like for some of you guys you are trying to make something work that's not working i'll show you the first two cards the knight of cups and the five of cups so i noticed that the knight of cups is riding towards this person on the five of cups and the Knight of Cups can often be a card about, I mean, usually it's rooted in love. So when you get a Knight of Cups, it doesn't mean um, that you have new love, directly have new love coming your way. Sometimes it means that somebody's quite being quite flirtatious with you or usually I see this card as somebody offering someone out for a drink or they're trying to create some type of conversation uh, with someone. Okay, so... I do feel that uh, when it's facing the Five of Cups, the, the Knight of Cups can also be a card about friendships, a real reliable friend, somebody that you can rely on, okay? Um, and I feel that uh, in the month of uh, March, Aries, there's something that happens with you guys, I feel. It's either where you are offering support or somebody's offering support to you, okay? Because we do see the Knight of Cups facing the guy in the Five of Cups, and it's quite obvious what he's doing if you look at these two cards together look at how those cards play out all right look at that can you see those two so the knight of cups is literally offering help to this person here who's suffering and it's interesting because 
I feel that there is some news coming in potentially for some of you guys that might cause some anxiety for some reason. Because we do have underneath that the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands. It's almost like this news arrives fairly quickly and it causes some anxiety for you. Okay. So I feel that you are... Um, I feel that something happens in March that might disturb your peace for some reason. I'm just getting that feeling because you are showing up as the Emperor. The Emperor is often represented by the Zodiac sign of Aries, which is what you are. Okay. The Ram. This is what you are. And I'm seeing a lot of you guys potentially. Um, in a. I'm just getting that you're probably going to be in a precarious situation because what I'm noticing is, is that the Knight of Swords, if you look at these two cards together, Aries, look at this, look at what happens here. The Knight of Swords is literally rushing over to the Emperor as if it wants to topple it, as if it wants to take it over the edge. I feel one of two things because the Knight of Swords can often be you know as an energy this is someone who is quite aggressive this is someone who is quite um confrontational a lot of the time so some of you guys might be experiencing i feel uh, some confrontation i've got to be honest here with what i see there's some confrontational elements happening for you in march aries because we've got that knight of swords whenever i see that knight of swords running towards another court card or a major arcana card with a figure on it with a human figure on it to me, this suggests confrontation. Now, I've seen it in everyday life. Um, I did a, a second reading, I think, for Scorpio that never went up for last November. And it was where the Knight of Swords was chasing someone on the Six of Wands. And uh, it's funny because I have a twin sister. She's also obviously a Scorpio. Now, as a reader, you never read for yourself, even though I do personal daily readings for myself because it helps me hone my skills as a reader. But when you're doing general reading general uh, readings for YouTube or anywhere else, your mind has got to be completely neutral because that's how you get stuff coming through. There needs to be no blockages, no anything. It just has to be stuff that comes through. I did a reading for, uh, a second reading for Scorpio, as I mentioned, that never went up. And it looked like to me that somebody was trying to bully this person on the Six of Wands because the Knight of Wands was directly rushing behind the man on the Six of Wands, trying to hurry him along. About a week later, my twin sister comes home and she just started, not long ago, started a new job where she was in a far more kind of superior, uh, high up position. She, she'd gone up to a kind of like a manager level type thing, but she had somebody up uh, above her. And my twin sister's just settling into this job, doing the best that she can, learning the ropes. And she was doing rather well. So she was achieving, which is what the Six of Wands is all about, achievement. But the Knight of Swords happened to be one of her managers who decided that she wanted more than my twin sister was giving and decided that she would bully her and also harass her and also um, show her up in front of a team of people. So from that, I looked at the card and it was so funny and I thought, wow, that's exactly what it meant. Somebody who's literally bullying or trying to chastise or trying to push someone like this when they're before their time, before they're ready. I feel somebody's trying to upset some sort of order here um in the month of march aries for you and it's a either it could be an air sign person okay gemini libra aquarius i feel that with the emperor card the emperor is usually someone who's quite stoic they're quite settled they're um they're set in their ways they don't the emperor doesn't really like change he's someone who can uh who, who likes to give orders but he certainly doesn't like to take them so for some of you guys, I feel that there will be someone who um, will try to possibly provoke you over something maybe in March. Um, or they might be trying to topple you or take your crown or take your position potentially. I am sensing some provocation here because that Knight of Swords looks very aggressive running towards the Emperor and the Emperor is you, Aries. Okay, So for any of you guys who are perhaps in a very kind of... Um, prominent position especially within the workplace i would just be aware that maybe for march you could be experiencing some issues maybe with co-workers i'm sensing here um i'm sensing some uh it could be a family member as well 
because the emperor is usually the father figure of the family. So if, if you're a father in your areas and you're watching this, this might be a child that's trying to, or a younger person or a son or a daughter that's trying to test your patience. And maybe that's why we've got this six of cups here, because this is to do with communication. And maybe it's saying to you, Aries, that there are ways that you need to communicate with people that are younger than you, potentially. Okay. Maybe you need to be... Um, because I am seeing provocation here and it could be literally for parents, especially fathers who are uh, being provoked or being tested by their younger children. And the Six of Cups is about children, but it's also about a younger child being looked after by an older one. So this younger child is being uh, taught the beauty of sharing. OK, it's being taught um, the beauty of giving and receiving. It's... Uh, an older child looking down on a younger child and trying to show that it's nice to do things for one another. So I feel that this is almost like saying you're going to have a situation, Aries, in March where you're going to kind of need to learn a certain diplomatic way, a nice way of dealing with the situation. OK, um, there is some worry. OK, there is some. And I'm seeing some back and forth stuff here as well, because we do have a air sign potentially gemini libra aquarius worrying there and it's because of a message maybe from a fire sign eight of wands going on here okay so i'm seeing on the one hand the air sign is attacking the fire sign but on the other hand the fire sign is attacking the air sign so i do feel that there is uh, some conflict happening here either way okay it doesn't even have to be that way it could simply be areas that you are receiving some attacks i've also uh, known the eight of wands to be weapons, weapons of attack, okay, weapons of energy, all right, so I feel that there is some vibe going on here that suggests, um, that suggests that you need to kind of just try and avert this happening in March, I'm really sensing some, it's very strange the cards that have come out, and I also feel that, uh, you know, this Knight of Cups, Aries, totters along to offer an olive branch okay so it could be literally whereby <laughs> there has to be an olive branch offered in this situation because the five of cups is not only about loss but it's about the i mean like loss in a relationship but it is literally about the loss of joy the loss of happiness because the three of cups when it's upstanding is all about happiness but it, the three cups have been toppled down. So it's almost like there's been the loss of joy here. There is a lot of sadness or some sadness going on. I feel that it might be in a home situation, potentially. And I also feel that this could be amongst co-workers too. Um, but somebody's trying to offer an olive branch. This might be you trying to offer an olive, olive branch here. But I, I feel that um, you do have a supporter with that Knight of Cups. I don't see this as a love reading to be honest some of you some of you guys it could be i've already done the love readings anyway but for some of you guys it really could be because um the five of cups is often the sorrow after you've lost a relationship and the knight of cups is when somebody's trying to offer you love or to offer you a drink or offer you something on a, of a romantic nature so for some of you guys you could literally have somebody who wants to offer you something um of a romantic nature okay maybe after you've just split up from someone um, I'm just seeing what else I'm sensing. I, I am sensing something else here, but I'm just trying to kind of bring it together. Um, I almost feel it's really weird when I look at the cards, but sometimes when there's a tarot reader, when you look at cards, you almost get this storyline that runs through. And it's really strange, kind of really strange what I'm I'm seeing here. Um, Aries because it's almost as if uh, for some of you guys you could have an admirer but an admirer that maybe your parent or an older member of the family doesn't agree with or somebody doesn't agree with it here I feel I, I feel that there's two people that don't agree with something in terms of a relationship here and they're being quite vocal about it that's what I'm sensing here with this um, reading um because I notice that the Emperor looks over at the guy on the Five of Cups as if he's keeping an eye on him, okay? And he's it's almost like he's keeping an eye on this guy on the Five of Cups and the Knight of Cups offering love to the Five of Cups guy. But the Knight of Swords is almost trying to chavvy the 
uh, emperor along to do something about this situation. So when I see how the cards look, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, there is some sort of issue going on. And it could be in the family. It could be for some of you guys that you're in love with someone that your family members simply don't agree with Aries in the month of in the month of March. I'm sensing here. But I am sensing that communi good communication is needed in order to clear the air. All right. Um, I am sensing potentially some jealousy within a work situation because for some of you guys, you might literally, I'm sensing with that five, that six of wands, sorry, six of cups, some of you guys are going to be getting a, an award for good work that's been done. And it could be that the general energy is that you are the star of a team because the three of pentacles can often be a team card as well. Teamwork, working together, but also standing out. This uh, craftsman here stands out. Okay, which is why he is where he is on this card. Okay, he's the one that's giving directional help to the two people there. And that's because he stands out and he knows his work. And also this is someone who can receive an award. So I'm sensing that for some of you guys, um, you are receiving an award within March for good work that's been done. Okay, uh, but I'm sensing that um, there might be some jealousy. It's really weird because this Knight of Cups looks like he could be offering an, a, an award to this person here which is interesting but there does seem to be some jealousy around this potential potentially so i would be careful of that a couple of people um some of you could be feeling anxious maybe over a message that you receive with the eight of wands excuse me <coughs> Yeah, with the Eight of Wands facing that um, Nine of Wands, it looks like there's some message that worries you. Or it, it even looks like you're trying to shield yourself from attacks. So for some of you guys, you might know about this jealousy that's going on within a work situation. Because if you look at these two cards together, this person holds their hands up to their eyes. As if to shield themselves from the attack of the Eight of Wands, if you can see that here. But I do feel that by the end of the month, you guys are going to be removing yourself from a situation um, because we do have the chariot. OK, and we've also got the eight of cups and the eight of cups walks away from the chariot. Can you see how he turns his back on the chariot? It's an interesting one. Um. The chariot is usually a card of a victory over a, over um, over some form of conflict. And what's interesting about this is that the person on the Eight of Cups walks away, it turns its back on the chariot, okay? So for me, the chariot... I'm sorry, I keep itching my back, but there's something that really itches on my back. Um, the chariot is a card where um, I feel that it's usually a card about moving forward, but it can also be someone who's quite arrogant. It's usually a Cancerian man, okay, and somebody who um, knows that he is in demand and knows that and, and really has probably very little feeling about certain things. So I do feel that some of you guys are probably going to be walking away uh, from someone who um, doesn't fulfil you. The cups are uh, about emotion, remember, and this person is walking away from an emotionally unfulfilling situation, okay? And that emotional unfulfilling situation comes with the chariot because the chariot is not an emotional card. It's actually to do with the military, funnily enough, okay? So, uh, and I noticed that the emperor uh, is directly above that. And it's really weird when you carry on looking at readings, uh, how the meanings can change in the card, okay? So the Emperor and the Chariot both kind of make me feel that these are two very stoic, cold characters, and they are. The Emperor is quite cold, he can be quite selfish, and he's also a very kind of resistant individual. He isn't changing for anyone. He's not allowing anyone to tell him what to do. The chariot is the same man. He's quite, if you were to get the chariot in a love reading, 
it would mean a fly-by-night, non-committal individual that just likes to get himself around as many people as possible and then move on. Okay. And I almost feel when I'm looking at these cards as well that it could be a situation whereby uh, for some of you guys, you might be looking over at this person on the Five of Cups because you might be seeing that you're about to lose them. I'm sensing that as well, that somebody else is about to kind of get in there before you do. And it's almost like this Knight of Swords could be a friend or someone who is kind of saying, make a move or make a move on this person before you lose them. OK, but I feel that in your for some of you guys, it might be in your arrogance, you end up losing that person. Potentially, this is ending up to be a very, very weird reading. But I'm looking at uh, the pictures and I'm just trying to get what I can from what I'm seeing on the pictures. OK, I am seeing somebody that walks away from the chariot. OK, it's almost like they get out of the car. OK, they've, they've had enough. They've got they, they've had enough of this kind of journey and they just want out. So for some of you guys, it could be a simple situation of that you are. Feeling in, in March that you might be losing someone and you might be willing just to lose them or just to let them go. And so much so that they end up walking away because it's the person on the cups who is feeling bereft, who is feeling sad. And it's the person on the cups that ends up walking away. So it's the same person who just decides, you know what, I've had enough of this situation. I can't take it. It's almost like the person on the Five of Cups has turned their back on the Emperor, turned their back on you. Or maybe you're the person on the Five of Cups and the Emperor is someone else. But I was I was attributing the Emperor to you guys because this person is Aries and you are Aries. OK. So there is also that element as well where uh, I feel that I'm seeing a situation where somebody uh, it's either you or somebody who is your partner or something like that is looking to walk away from a situation that they are not receiving any emotional fulfillment with okay so maybe for some of you areas if you're the person that's being walked away from you need to kind of book your ideas up and you know put some more effort into a relationship okay um i am sensing that somebody wants to kind of ignore something here as well because we do have that nine of swords person shielding their eyes from the eight of swords so it's almost like they're not they don't want to pay attention to something or they don't want to be pay attention to a message that's coming at them okay so much so that it could be a case of that they just end up it's almost like they they need a wake-up call or it's almost like you need a wake-up call in march but you're averting your eyes you're kind of ignoring something here and i'm seeing kind of just inactivity in the emperor card in the nine of swords and also, in a way, in the chariot, so much so that somebody else ends up just walking away because there was no activity, there was no trying, there was no um, trying to move forward with something. It was just kind of left. I feel that the Six of Cups could be asking you to share something of yourself, Aries, if this is you, okay? Because the Six of Cups is a card about sharing. It's also about letting your guard down because children don't have many defences they just see life as one long party a lot of the time um so i am seeing that for the month of march 2016 for aries there's all sorts of things running through this reading it's really really interesting um but i feel that you know if you're the person who's letting a relationship slip and I feel that the cards are saying that you need to kind of move forward with it or else you'll lose it in the end. OK, um, I feel that it's telling you not to avoid uh, confrontation because I'm seeing avoidance of confrontation twice here in this, this reading. And you need to face it or face whatever it is that you've been trying to avoid. I'm seeing some of you guys could end up losing someone and letting them go to someone else. OK, so if you don't kind of acknowledge this, this person will end up walking away from you. I feel that it's almost like telling you that you've got to let your guard down. And you've got to allow yourself to trust Aries because I'm sensing that maybe there is a lack of trust here, which is why maybe for some of you guys, you might lose out on a particular relationship or a situation. As I've said, I do. I do it's not the greatest reading I know, but this is what I see. And that's that. Uh, I am sensing some conflict or confrontation with maybe an air sign. 
Okay, I am sensing some back and forth type of communication within the month of March. But I am also sensing that some of you guys are going to be winning an award or you're going to have recognition. You're going to be recognised for the work that you do. Okay. Um, I just find it interesting how this man walks away from the chariot, or it might be him that's in the chariot and then he gets up and to go on foot. So maybe for some of you guys, you've gone as far as you can go within a certain situation and then you decide, now I need to kind of walk away and go in another direction. Because I noticed that the chariot moves straight on, but the Eight of Cups, they turn, I think it's to the left. They decide to turn to the left. I feel that uh, with those two cards, it's almost like for some of you guys, you achieve some clarity. Because if you look at the uh, colours of um, the High Priestess, they're the same colours as this black and white Sphinx. So her pillars are dark, black and white. The black is, I think it's Boaz, and the white is Joachim. Okay, so from darkness, which is black, to light, which is white. So I feel that it's almost like this guy turns left to the light. And if you look here, if you could imagine yourself in the chariot, I would imagine that if I was in the chariot, I would be the white sphinx. Sorry, I would. Uh, if I was to turn, the white sphinx would be on the left and the black sphinx on the right. So the white sphinx would be uh, the light side and the black sphinx would be the dark side. So it's almost like this person finally achieves clarity and is able to move on from something as well. That's what I'm seeing for your reading. Filled with lots of different things, I guess. But yeah, thanks for your time, Aries, and I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.